The Scaries 100, in association with Street Sweep, professional street sweeping service. Welcome to Scaries, just outside Dublin for the 59th National Scaries 100 road race run by the Loch Shinney Motorcycle Club. The sun is shining and there's a massive crowd jammed in around this 2.9 mile circuit. Over 30,000 people are here to see the best road racers in Ireland. The first race up is the Bridgestone 250cc Junior followed by the Lost Riders Super Sport 600 and then the Des Darcy Grand Final. Well, the riders are just lining up here behind me for race one of the day, the 250 class. After yesterday, the qualifier, we saw Darren Lindsay, Ryan Faulkner and Jarno Holland qualify for the front line. The roads are dry at the moment, however, there's a lot of clouds around. Hopefully it will stay a dry race, but for now, take it away, lads. Well, on the front row of this 250cc race, there's Jarno Holland. But the man in pole position is on bike 55, Darren Lindsay. So from left to right, it's Barry Davidson on four, then Yarno Holland on 28, Farquhar's on 77, Lindsay on 55, and it's Lindsay in the Dublin corner who leads this race. Farquhar's right there with him. Out towards Duke Benz. Now this is Bal Dungan, and Lindsay and Farquhar have opened up a little bit of an advantage. Barry Davidson is in third place. And this is so fast along here. Over Gillies Leap. Barry Davidson's in third and Davy Morgan in there battling for fourth place. To the hairpin. Lindsay and Farquhar. Barry Davidson in third. Davy Morgan's right there, as is Yarno Holland. Now it's through the trees and through Sam's tunnel again through here. The leaders have completed one lap and Darren Lindsay, well he just looks to have edged a little bit more of a gap there from Farquhar through Dublin's and Davy Morgan has now taken third place over the Champlico, what an angle that is. Third there is Davy Morgan, bike 71. But it's Darren Lindsay who still leads this race. What a season he's having in a 250. And it's good to see the big name riders being attracted back into this class. This is the Gary Dines Memorial Cup. Gary, one of the best 250 riders Ireland has ever produced. And the foundation is trying to rejuvenate two-stroke racing. Certainly doing a good job at the moment as Jarno Holland now takes third place. Still at the front though, it's this man Darren Lindsay, front wheel in the air, Farquhar certainly hasn't given up yet though. But Lindsay now just seems to be getting further and further ahead of the man from Dungannon, looking back, Diffy Morgan's back to third, Barry Davison's fourth, no sign of Yarno Holland, so Holland has dropped out of contention. Through the chicane, Davy Morgan has a little look over his shoulder. He's got Davison right with him. And he shouldn't have looked back because Davison has now taken the lead down into Dublin's. Davison up to third. On to his last lap goes the leader, Darren Lindsay. Farquhar, just in your picture now, is still in second. Barry Davison holding off Davy Morgan for that third spot. Andrew Neal in fifth and Trevor Keyes making up the top six. There is Davison. Can Morgan respond and get onto the podium? But there's absolutely no stopping Darren Lindsay. Carves his way through the back markers. Lindsay on his way to another race win. And Davy Morgan has got ahead of Barry Davison. So he did respond. He'll take third place. But it's Darren Lindsay, the man from Dundraud, who takes the checkered flag and the race win. Ryan Farquhar gets second, about seven and a half seconds back. There's confirmation of the results. Lindsay gets the race win. Farquhar second, Morgan third, Barry Davison fourth, Landry Neal in fifth. 
Darren, you were in the lead for most of that race. Are you happy? Oh, I um, just made the break at the start and. Uh, you know, it's a new 250 we've got this year, and uh, the bike's going really well. Uh, Cleaver Brown supplied it to me, and uh, just got away at the start. And you know, the Bridgestone tyres work brilliant, and I can't complain with that one. So laurels for the three men on the podium, and the winner, Darren Lindsay. Well, the Scaries 100 just seems to attract more and more people every year. It's a motorcycle race not to be missed. Martin, this is your first race of the day and you're in top pole position. Yeah, qualifying went well last night, so we're just waiting here now, ready for a start. The track is pretty slippy at the minute, so I think they're going to try and let it dry a bit first. Richard, how are you confident are you feeling for this race? Uh, it's very dangerous, the road's very slippy up the back road there, it's just with caution. Will you be taking it cautious over the first couple of laps? Well, you know, they'll pr there's a possibility they might give us another warm-up lap, you know, so uh, we'll just take a look around and see how the road is, you know, but I think it should be all right. It's staying fairly quick. There's a good breeze, but I'll just try and get a good start and hang in there and hopefully be there thereabouts at the end of the race. On the grid for the Lost Riders Super Sport 600, Martin Finnegan on bike 45's in pole position, 77's Ryan Farquhar, he's got a great start, 8 is Richard Britton, 55 Darren Lindsay, and it's Farquhar who leads into Dublin corner. Well, this has been one of the most competitive classes all season, looking back from Martin Finnegan's bike, and that's Raymond Porter behind him. Through goes the leader Farquhar. And it looked like Darren Lindsay, who's in second, up over the lead. Well, he was pushing hard there, Farquhar, and Lindsay with the front wheel in the air. Down to the hairpin. Farquhar. Lindsay, nice and easy does it. Track a little slippery. Porter's right up close to Martin Finnegan. Well, there have been a couple of rain showers, but as you can see, the sun's back out, the circuit seems to be drying, and Richard Britton there is a mover. He's up to fourth place. Farquhar completing his first lap. He's got a big lead. Then it's Lindsay, Finnegan, Britton all stuck together. Raymond Porter's there too. What a race this is. Sliding his way in a Dublin corner. Oh, look at this. Charge up the inside comes Finnegan. Round the outside goes Britton. But Lindsay holds them all off. On board again with Finnegan. Looks like Porter still behind him. Over the jump. Lindsay again with a little weedy. Finnegan. Porter's there. Richard Britton back down to fifth. Morgan's on his tail at the hairpin. Well, Ryan Farquhar, this is the same machine. He won the Super Sport race at the Isle of Man TT. Here's Finnegan, the local man from Lusk with Porter from Donegal behind him. And Finnegan now, bike right on its side, right close to the grass verge. And through Sam's tunnel at around 130 miles an hour. Big crowd all around this scary circuit. McRae's got back in front of Davison. Bike 98, that's Brendan Desmond. Lying in ninth place overall at the moment. On to the third lap goes Farquhar, the leader. Then it's Lindsay, Finnegan and Porter. Big cheer for Farquhar as he goes around Dublin corner safely. And Finnegan still holding off Porter. Britain still in front of Davy Morgan. Here's the race for 10th. 20 there is David Coughlin. 64, Jonathan Ralph. Well, he thought about a pass right up the inside of Coughlin. Here's the leader. Second place, Mandara Lindsay. Well, big puff of smoke there. He was so close to the edge. Finnegan third, still in front of Raymond Porter, head buried right behind the bubble, Ryan Farquhar. Flies through Sam's tunnel. 
Finnegan and Porter through two onto his fourth lap. And Finnegan's closing in on Darren Lindsay. Big slide from Martin Finnegan. Got a bit of a wiggle there as well. Barry Davison now back in front of Kenny McRae. They're having a great tussle. Davison's in seventh, McRae in eighth. But Farquhar just keeps opening up a bigger and bigger lead. Trademark part of the course this over Gillies Leap. And Porter well a wobble there. Just can't get up close enough to Martin Finnegan to make a pass at the moment. Britain and Morgan go through. Davison still holds off McRae for that seventh place. Sixth is Davy Morgan, fifth Richard Britton, fourth Raymond Porter, third Martin Finnegan, second Darren Lindsay, and this is the leader on to his last lap. I don't think there's any catching him. But Raymond Porter at last up the inside of Martin Finnegan. That's a great pass by Porter. The leader is on the run to home. No trouble in second for Darren Lindsay either. The race is for third. Finnegan is right there with Porter. Can he get back past him? Farquhar stays focused. Doesn't want any mistakes. Oh, Porter's gone wide. Can you believe it? Martin Finnegan gets back into third. So a mistake from Porter. Well, we were talking about Farquhar trying to not make any errors. It's as easily done as that. But he's had a smooth, safe ride and he's enjoyed that. Race win for Farquhar. Second will be Darren Lindsay. Cruises over the line. And Martin Finnegan takes third, just ahead of Raymond Porter. Ryan, that was a tough race. Are you happy with your win? Oh, I just, you know, got away at the start and just rode as hard as I could to the end, you know. And bike worked brilliant, you know. I was getting a few slides, you know, was slipping around there. And towards the end, you know, there's a few dark clouds and saw a few spits, but didn't come down, you know. But now I'm well pleased, you know. That's the third time I've rode that bike and it's the third win on it. So we've been on undefeated on so far. So hopefully you can keep it up to the end of the year. Another race win for Ryan Farquhar on the McAdoo racing bike. He's certainly good on a 600. There's confirmation of that result, but the best is still to come. Join us again soon for the Super Bikes at the Scaries. The Scaries 100, in association with Street Sweep, professional street sweeping service. The Scaries 100, in association with Street Sweep, professional street sweeping service. That old sunbeam is nearing its 30th birthday, but in Ireland, so long as the machine is sound, it's enthusiasm that counts. And to a man, the riders here today are genuine amateurs, butchers, bakers, engine drivers, farmers, and a few motorcycle dealers. By now, Wilfred Heron, making the most of that five-minute start, is nearing the end of his first lap. Although a shower has made the road slippery in places, he's setting a fine pace in his 350 BSA as he sweeps through the corners in the heart of Skerry's town. Back at the bridge, number 40, Bertie Farlow, from the one-minute line, has caught up with a lot of earlier starters. He's a man worth watching. So too is back marker Louis Carter with a fast 500 Norton. And at the two mile point there's a good straight along which Farlow is again overhauling a bunch of slower riders. And now halfway through the race it's Lindsay's turn to put in a still faster lap at 74.3 miles an hour. Only 
a mile or so to go, it's goodbye to second place for Stammers as Jim Heron sweeps ahead. The race is over with Farlow first. Once again, it's a middle handicapped man who has taken the honours. The first big road racing success for the 25-year-old mechanic from Dundalk, Bertie Farlow. What a magnificent trophy from the Dublin club to remind him of his victory. Well, that was the old... And this is the new kid on the block, 23-year-old Martin Finnegan. The Scaries is his home circuit. He lives just around the corner. Finnegan's undoubtedly one of the best young motorcyclists in Ireland. He's a regular top three finisher. And he holds the absolute lap record at the Scaries 100. Martin, for a 23-year-old, you have achieved so much over this last four years in racing, but can you tell us, how did you first get into this scene? Well, uh, when I was 10 years of age, I used to travel around with my sister and her boyfriend at the time, now her husband. He um, he used to do a lot of grass track racing and motocross, and I went with them then, and they bought me my first bike, and I started doing motocross when I was 10, and uh, kept that up till I was about 16, and the guy that I was working for, called Tony Carton, who sponsors me now, he had a road racing bike in the shed and asked me that I want to go for a spin on it, so we took to Mandela one day and did 90 laps I think around Mandela the first day out and that was it that was the start of the whole thing Welcome back to the grid for the third and final race of the day the 1000cc again we have drivers such as Finnegan, Faulkner, Britton and Lindsay battling it out over this 3.5 circuit back over to you Steve Martin Finnegan is in pole position for this the big race of the day the Des Darcy Motors and it's Finnegan who squeezes his way in front at the first Dublin corner. I think it was Darren Lindsay who may well have taken second. On board with Richard Britton. Just look at the crowd all around this circuit. It really is lined with people. So it is Finnegan on 45, Lindsay on 55, then Farquhar on 77, Britton on 8, Porter on 54, and Davy Morgan on 71, bringing up the tail. Second group, all hustling for position into the first corner. Gillies leap, Finnegan still leads. Oh, but Farquhar's in second, he's gone ahead of Darren Lindsay. So Ryan Farquhar is starting to challenge Martin Finnegan at the hairpin. And wouldn't Finnegan love a big bike win on his home circuit? Well, this part of the course reminds me of the Isle of Man TT. Shadow and sunlight, Darren Lindsay. You could see how hard he was trying. Across the start-finish line goes Finnegan. Well, he's determined, isn't he? Big back wheel slide. And on the brakes, Richard Britton gets ahead of Darren Lindsay, does he? We'll have to wait and see. Lindsay may well have got that third place back, but he hasn't. Because we're on board with Britton, and it's a clear road ahead of him. Right into the grass verge again. Spectators there getting a great view and a wheelie from Martin Finnegan. Farquhar's closing in on him. Britton holds off Lindsay. Porter and Morgan. This is John Donnan. He's in seventh place. Round Baldungan. Finnegan screeches his way into the hairpin on that round tower racing machine. Farquhar still in second on the Kenny Harker bike. On board again with Britain. You can see the difficulty he has with the sunshine in and out of the shadow. Just picks a spot in the light at the end of the tunnel. On to their third lap. And I think Farquhar is starting to close that gap on Martin Finnegan. Dark rain clouds in the distance. Let's hope the sunshine stays out. We don't want any rain. Through the tunnel, upwards of 140 miles an hour. Just knock it off a little bit here before the right-hander. 
down into the chicane and through the start finish and that will be another lap complete. And what about this for a view? Look at the focus and look at the eyes on Martin Finnegan. 111 is Damien Malady. 93 there's Paul Cranston. 70 Victor Gilmore. Another lap complete. Well, he's an entertainer, Finnegan. Another big slide in the Dublin corner. And Farquhar trying to edge his way even closer. Oh, someone went straight on. It's Darren Lindsay. Darren Lindsay pushed too hard. And Farquhar, well, around there into Baldungan. That's just how hard he's trying. We look back. It is Richard Britton. Who has that third place? Oh, but it sounds like he's got a problem. Britain, indeed he does. Richard Britain's race is over. And Darren Lindsay slips into third place. Farquhar and Finnegan over Gilly Sleep. Can Farquhar get past Finnegan? That's the big question. Bike shaking from side to side. On the last lap, Martin Finnegan, well this will be a popular win if he can do it. Farquhar still there in second. He's had a good year, Martin Finnegan. Got that podium at the Northwest 200, the big international meeting. He was delighted with that. And the crowd are enjoying this. Darren Lindsay, well proving that he's a good operator on a super bike as well. Riding for the Yule Duncan racing team. <laughs> and a crowd pleaser too. Big wheelie for them. But it's Finnegan, barring any problems, who'll take this race win. The programs are waving. Just look at the crowd. Farquhar should hang on for second. And Martin Finnegan wheelies his way across the finish line. Great win for Finnegan. Farquhar did get second with Darren Lindsay in third place. So confirmation on the Yamaha, Martin Finnegan wins the grand final. Well, there's no more popular winner at the Scaries 100 than the hometown boy Martin Finnegan. Champagne celebrations for him. But the day was tinged by sadness as well, as travelling marshal Freddie Russell died suddenly during the event. He'll be missed by all his friends in the Lockshinny Motorcycle Club. Once again, the Scaries 100 has produced some thrilling motorcycle action. It all started with a win for Darren Lindsay in the 250s. Then it was Ryan Farquhar's turn. Proving that he's the man to beat in the Supersport class. And in the Superbikes, it was Martin Finnegan who took the major honours on his home circuit. The Scaries 100, in association with Street Sweep, professional street sweeping service.